I am the human chopstick. <laughs> oh, spider. I'm white. I think I'm a really good clickbait title for it. James dies while climbing a tree. I just thought I was no one. And you're filming, aren't you? Yeah, I know that face, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm James, aka okay, James from the internet, or Internet James, as some of you, probably not none of you, know me as. I'm a photographer and a uni student, and I consume a lot of food. That's about it. I do Bachelor of Business and majoring in marketing communications, some like advertising and some management, everything thrown in there. Basically, every business subject without numbers. Numbers suck. <laughs> what are you most passionate about? A lot of things. That's a hard question. Taking photos, um, mainly of like well dressed people. I like fashion a lot. I like movies, books. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite movie? And oh, uh, Grand Budapest Hotel. So good. The photography direction of that is insane. All of like the colors, it's just so aesthetically pleasing to watch. And it's just the actors in it kill it. It's got to go with like the classic To Kill a Mockingbird. Because oh like, <laughs> That's what my mum forced me to read when I was like 12. Ever since yeah. then, I kind of like, yeah, reread it when I was older and understood it more. <laughs> it's a bit of an eye opener. I enjoyed that. I just finished um, Just Kids by Patti Smith, and that's a really, really good book. Really interesting. And I knew nothing about it before I read it, so that was also really cool because now I'm really interested in that. What music do you listen to? <laughs> that is the hardest question ever. <laughs> right now, I am into Tame Impala, uh, Mac DeMarco, Sticky Fingers as always, DMA is a cool. They're like killing it. Bootleg Rascals, who are like kind of linked in with Sticky Fingers through the same label. My friend has a really cool band called Ego Monkey. Shout out to Austin. You're not going to watch this because I'm not going to show you, but <laughs> just know that I did that for you. Oh yeah, and then sometimes I get like really weird and listen to like gangster rap. It's like old school like Wu-Tang Clan, just because I'm white. <laughs> What inspires you? A lot of things. A lot of people. Definitely like my parents. Definitely proud of like what everything they've done, everything they've achieved. They inspire me even though like my mom's an accountant, which you wouldn't pick as an inspiring thing. Yeah, I know that face. Yeah. Accounting? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not following those footsteps. And my dad is an architect. He's really good at what he does. I have a lot of respect for him. Other photographers, directors, just anybody creative or doing stuff that's like out of society's norms. I find David Bowie really inspiring. Just because... Zoom up on the pin. Shout out. My yeah. Boy. <laughs> um, uh, just because, I don't know, he, he was different. I had that thing when I was growing up where I was just like, I didn't really associate with, you know, what society wanted me to be or like the local society. I grew up in a place that wasn't exactly, uh, everyone is the same there and they all sort of expect you to fit in. And if you're different, you do not fit in. You're just instantly outcast. And that was cool. Sweet. Shout out to those guys in the background. <laughs> so yeah, David Bowie was cool because it was like this big figure that just like did whatever he wanted and he dressed super cool and like a lot of people sort of labelled him as like different, a freak, an alien even. And I just thought that was awesome because like he was so successful and so well respected in his, in, not only in his industry and outside of that. I love David Bowie, Wes Anderson, Mike Jones, he's like God. a film director. My favourite director, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, he's awesome. I used to be like a little skate rat across the shirt. Um, and he was linked in with a lot of like the movies I kind of watched growing up. It was cool to watch him direct skate movies and make them look good because like a lot of skateboarding movies have these really like shitty aesthetics and just like kind of go with that whole grunge skate culture. And then he came in out with like movies like Pretty Sweet, beautiful to watch. And also her and Where the Wild Things Are, his use of colours. What has been your proudest moment in your life? <laughs> oh, that's the real ones. Recently I got asked to shoot at New York Fashion Week next year. That's pretty big. I feel like I'll be more proud of that though when I get to there and I like try and actually accomplish something. Probably just stuff to do with photography, like people liking my photos or people asking me to like like a lot of people have asked me to put my photos in galleries. When I was at Fashion Week this year, a lot of people like approached me. I got asked to work for a couple of magazines, which was really, really cool to see because I was I just thought I was no one at a point, like everyone else. And then all of a sudden people actually knew me for my work. I was like, well, this is kind of crazy because there's so many street style photographers out there. We all do the same thing. For some reason, people were liking mine. And I was pretty hyped on that because photography is one of those things that I'm you know, sort of devoting my life to at the moment. People are sort of gravitating toward my, towards my work. And that's really cool. It's awesome to see. <laughs> what do you hope to achieve in the future? Ultimately, it would be really cool just to like fly around the world and take photos for someone, whether that happens or not, we'll see. If not, I just want to be happy. I want to live in a cool city. I want to travel a lot. I don't want to hate work. I don't want to live life just to pay rent. Then you should enjoy what you do. And that's hopefully something I wish to achieve. It's pretty rare in society these days. 
tell us about like traveling and like where you've been, your favorite moments while traveling. Just like, yeah, just talk about travel because you've traveled a lot. My favorite city is New York, like everyone. Um, <laughs> if you haven't been there, it sounds really cliche, but once you get there, it's literally like the most insane, chaotic, dirty, grungy, but so beautiful. And it's just got like this super unique vibe. It's always buzzing, there's always something to do. Also like the people there, they're evil. And like, I kind of love that. Like they're all so like sassy and egotistical and they're all just big headed. And I don't know, for some reason I'm drawn to that. Recently I was in Europe. Okay, the sun's in my eyes again. <laughs> uh, shout out to Katara for the shades. I was in Europe and I was there for two and a bit months. And that was like the most insane time of my life. I know every single like kid in Sydney has been to Europe. But I have it. Whatever. It was just cool. Like I, the first place I went to was Rome, and I was like, after never being to Europe, and it was sort of like my second solo trip by myself. Oh well, that my parents and family. I got to Rome. Like all the stuff that I read in like the history books or like you see on TV, and it's just all there. Like you see like the Colosseum, and you see like these old cobbled streets and the Trevi Fountain, and it's just like right. It was like right outside my door, and it was just really weird being in such a different place. That, almost seemed like it wasn't real just because you only see it in like the movies or something like that and that was awesome. On the same trip I went to Amsterdam. That was arguably like one of my favorite stops. There's an insane art culture there that is just unmatched and like they've got a really unique style scene which is cool. There's so many young innovators there which is awesome to see. All the art galleries there are insane. I love them. Paris and London are cool as well. Paris is just like magical. A lot of people don't like it. I think it's dirty and you know, people are rude towards outsiders, which I kind of love. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just insanely cool. French culture is awesome. The food, the coffee. I love coffee. Um, I need it to survive. It was just such a fun experience. And then I came home and it was just like, I need to go somewhere else now. <laughs> it's called the Tribal Bog Park. Also Canada, totally different. That is literally the most beautiful place on earth. Landscapes there. Um, oh, I love that place. It's, can't keep, yeah. I can't stop myself from going back. Future travel destinations? I will be in Canada in January, start of January, there for two weeks, and I go to New York. I'm in New York for a month, but I'll go up and down the East Coast, I think. I gotta do two weeks of fashion week there, then I have some studio work that I'm gonna be doing, and then I'm, I wanna go up to Boston, because I haven't been there yet. I've been to Washington, that was awesome, but I really wanna go to Boston. And then, hopefully sometime next year, go to Japan, love to go there. That, or I wanna, I wanna go back to Europe, in the summertime, just do another like two months trip. But that costs a lot of money and that's not something I have. So <laughs> these are all just like kind of- Ideas and yeah, stuff, yeah. Dreams that hopefully one day I'll get, but we'll see what happens for now. I'm just trying to work, save money, and enjoy yeah. life in Sydney because it's insanely cool here as well. What tips do you have for aspiring photographers? Buy whatever camera you want for a starting photographer. You don't need to drop like a thousand or two thousand dollars on a camera. Find it, like use a bad camera, and you learn it and you learn to use it you move on to the next camera and it'll just be like it'll be like oh there's so much i can do now that i have this camera and it's a really cool process also find photographers that you like find them on instagram or facebook or anything like that tumblr even and just like even just mimic their style obviously don't do it to a point where you're creating the same photos if you find someone who has a similar style that something you want to create just go ahead and just try and choose that because that's the best place that you're going to start to learn not only how to take photos but how to develop your own style because you'll start to tweak that style and then you'll make it your own which is awesome take a camera with you wherever you go and just take photos every day that's honestly how you do it i don't know i'm trying to think about more stuff i can say about fashion but i don't know the planes are so annoying <laughs> try to sit like casually <laughs> For those of you that don't know me, I'm the most awkward person because I am so long and lucky. I <laughs> just can't get cake. It's like comfortable. A literal chopstick. Yeah, I am the human chopstick. My personal style though, a converse on with dickies and a thrasher shirt. <laughs> it's literally like the worst thing ever. But it looks I don't good know. though. And DIY denim jacket, that's yeah, it. Yeah, shout out to Glee Markets for giving me a vintage Levi's jacket. Yeah. I attacked it with scissors. <laughs> it kind of worked out, which never happens to me when I attack things with scissors. <laughs> I always ruin things. I like people's fashion who don't exactly I don't know how to describe it. Like Tara's fashion. Like Hi. she's just like she does whatever she wants and she doesn't exactly buy like a name brand piece. Wear whatever you want. If you see something that's really colourful and out there, buy that because that's always gonna look way cooler than someone with like a Supreme Box logo on. So <laughs> <laughs> I like people who just throw crazy stuff. Fashion should be about praying your personality, not about mm -hmm. like trying to look the coolest. 
it's not, yeah, it should be like a creative outlet for people. Do something that conveys your personality, conveys who you want to be. Just for you, don't dress for anyone else. People are going to hate it. True. Okay. And people are going to be like, you look weird. Exactly. But you're just going to get past it. Exactly. Why am I talking in your video? I don't know. <laughs> so I'll film you a history. <laughs> what else do you want to say about fashion? Don't get a big ego, please. That's the worst part about Fashion Week. Be you, dress how you want to dress and have fun with it. Don't take it so seriously. <laughs> What's the best photo you've taken in general? I always take like a photo and I'll be like, this is the best thing I've ever taken. And then a month later, I'll look back and I'm like, I really want to delete that photo now. I like to think that every photo I post, you know, is slightly better than the last one. Mm -hmm. Often it's not just because you get those moments where it's like, it's so just like everything lines up perfectly for you. One of my favorite photos at the moment is one I literally took like two days ago of like this cool little Korean dude that has like his denim vest and hat on at the opera house steps. It was just like a really nice, like plain background and it just highlighted his style perfectly. Check out my Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> but otherwise there's like a couple shots um, from Fashion Week. There's a photo I took with Badara. It was such like an accidental photo, I hate to say it, but like it was literally like me checking my exposure so I could take a photo of him and it just kind of like the light hit him perfectly just mm -hmm. and his stride was perfect and he just looked so elegant and but yet so unposed and raw i was really hyped on that one a lot of photos i took overseas that aren't star related at all i'm really happy with a photo i took with my friend will in budapest it was like a perfectly sunny day we went up to like this castle district and then um we went on like did a whole lot of touristy stuff we came back outside and there was just like the thickest rug of smoke that had covered the city and you couldn't see like 10 feet but there was like all these floodlights and it was just like creating this really cool lighting effect of like everything around it it's like there's purple and orange hues in the sky and i literally just like yelled at them to stand over there because i needed to take a photo and it just worked out so perfectly it's hard to yeah. pick your favorite because you want to get better you don't want to have something mm. from like three years ago and like this is my best piece of work like constantly like improving what you're doing exactly yeah, yeah. and like that's how it's going to work you mm -hmm. take more photos just now it's going to develop yeah. you're going to get a better understanding of what you want to take photos of do you have anything else you want to say? Shout out to your cousin Ash. <laughs> She's like the coolest seven-year-old ever. She's smarter than me. That's insane. Like, I'm not going to fight you on that. Identity bit. I love you and I really want to meet you. The Tara's cousin killed it. <laughs> Check out James's links below and Stalk thanks for Instagram. Follow me. <laughs> thanks for being in my video. It's alright. Thank you for having me. Bye.